we are weeks into, um, you know, not what we're used to. And we have the sun this weekend and it was beautiful and nice. And so hopefully, um, it'll make us a little happy. So let's start off with our heart opener. I didn't do it as much last week, so I feel a need for a little heart opener. So get your bolster or your pillow and place it on your mat, line your back up to it, and recline back. And see if we can slowly, slowly get rid of some distractions this morning. And putting your feet wherever you want, either stretched out in front of you or in a cobbler's pose. And reclining back, maybe draping those arms side to side on each side. Maybe placing your hand on your tummy. And just slowly melt into your mat. Letting all of your thoughts or all of those little pieces of confetti or squirrels, just let them drift, drift out, maybe over to the corner of your mat and just empty and free your mind. Now slowly come back to awareness, slowly sitting back up and just moving, moving your pillow or your bolster out of the way and just come up to a nice easy seated position. Nice and straight. 
And let's start by rolling our shoulders back and really stretching the front of our chest. So on an inhale, shoulders up towards your ears and back. And again, up and back. One more. And then reversing, let's go forward with our shoulders. Up and forward. Up, forward. Up and forward. And coming back to stillness. And let's slowly rotate our head. Our head is very heavy and we hold it up all day. So I think it's always good to, you know, do something with your neck to keep it nice and strong. So let's rotate in circles, starting going to the right, down and around. And I don't know about anybody else, but I always hear little crunches and pops. So I think it might be good for it. And then reverse. And then coming back to stillness. And taking our right hand, and let's take it over to our left ear. And slowly ease it to the side, like you're pouring out a pitcher of water. Just guiding your head. No need for any pulling or tugging. And then slowly releasing and taking our left arm to our right ear and slowly pouring out that pitcher of water. And then coming back up. And let's start with a nice little twist. Start off our morning, knees up to our chest, left foot over your right, swinging that left arm around and placing your right, your right hand behind you and gazing softly over your right shoulder. Aiding in our digestion, feeling that lovely stretch and twist. Waking our body up this morning. And then on the reverse, taking those arms around those knees, left hand behind, and gazing over our left shoulder. And then on the release, coming back forward, bringing ourselves to tabletop on our mat. Nice and still, straight back. And then slowly awaking our spine. Let's do some cat cows. On an inhale, arching that back, a mad cat. And then relaxing down, swaying that back like a cow. Inhale, mad cat. And exhale, like a cow. Again, and if you'd like to, if you'd like to get a little bit more movement in, you can take your hips side to side, 
or you can figure eight back and forth, getting those hips mobile. And then coming back into child's pose, the last mat. Spreading those hands out like starfish, toes, big toes together, bum in the air, and trying to rest your chest if you can on your mat. Maybe letting your forehead down. Coming back up, curling your toes under, and coming to your first downward dog. Sometimes your first downward dog is tight, so just pedal those dogs out, make movement. And coming back down into child's pose. And curling our toes under back into downward facing dog. And swinging that right foot back and then forward between your hands. Coming up into warrior one. Making sure you can see your toes beneath your knee. Hips are square. Back foot is parallel with your mats. Excellent. And coming back down to the mat and going into your chaturanga. High plank, lowering down, upward facing dog, and then meeting back into downward facing dog. And going with the opposite side now, swing that left foot back to the sky. And then swinging it forward towards your hands. And coming up into warrior one on the left. Slowly getting our body nice and warm. Bringing those hands back to the mat and going through your chaturanga. Coming back down in the child's pose, balasana. And then back up to downward facing dog. With a hop, skip, or a jump, come into the front of your mat between your hands into forward fold. Then on an inhale, swing our arms up high to the sky. Palms facing each other. Pinkies facing each other, shoulders down from your ears. Coming back down to forward fold. Half lift. And forward fold. 
Maybe taking those elbows, holding them in opposite hands. Let's just kind of swing back and forth for a moment. Just hang your head. Maybe shake it back and forth. And on an inhale, swooping those hands high to the sky. Sinking down into chair pose, Utkatasana. Making sure to tuck in your pelvis. Concentrating on not bending that back so much it hurts. But tucking that pelvis in and using your core. Using that deep breath. And then coming up and extending that right foot forward into warrior one. Again, making sure your hips are nice and square. And relaxing into warrior two. Gazing over your right middle finger, making sure your legs are straight. Shoulders down from ears. Sliding back into peaceful warrior. Coming forward into side angle. Taking that left arm over your left ear and your right forearm, gently resting on your knee. Coming back to warrior two. And then windmilling it down to your chaturanga. Meeting back at the downward facing dog. And going on to our opposite side, raising that left foot high to the sky. And sweeping it forward. And then taking that right foot and bringing it up to meet your left foot. Swooping those hands to the sky, pinkies facing. Coming back down and forward fold. Bringing it up to half lift. And then forward fold. And sweeping up to our chair pose. Sinking down, pulling in that core, sucking in that belly, tilting that pelvis, and really sinking into your chair. And then coming up. And into mountain pose, Tadasana. Now taking that left foot back, right foot forward, coming into warrior one. Excellent. And then slowly sinking into warrior two. Making sure your arms are straight, 
shoulders down from your ears, gazing over that middle finger. And I may be reversed, so. Think of Anne. Coming into Peaceful Warrior. And then in a side angle. Resting your forearm gently on your knee, not putting all your weight on it. And try and keep your body straight and lined up. Coming in, back in to warrior two. And then windmilling down to your chaturanga. And coming down into the Lasana Child's Pose. Coming back up into downward facing dog. And hop, skip, or jump to the top of your mat between your hands. And coming up into mountain pose or standing pose. And from here, let's do, let's work on a little more balancing. Let's work on our tree pose. So taking that right foot and really ground, grounding it into the floor or the mat, taking your left foot as a kickstand, and then slowly bring it up to where you're comfortable today. It could be your calf or your upper thigh. Again, I know everyone knows, but never your knee. We'll see how we are compared to last week. I don't know, all that sunshine we've had, I'm feeling pretty, pretty strong. <laughs> maybe leaving your hands on your hips, maybe holding on to something, whatever works for you today. And then slowly letting go and bringing that foot down. Maybe kicking those feet out a little bit. And now let's come to the opposite side. That's my left. I'm gonna kickstand my foot again. Got my hips square. I'm at my calf. I'm gonna try to come up to my thigh. This side feels a little stronger today. Maybe you want to come up with your branches. Maybe you'd like to sway in the wind. Pretending we're on a nice, lovely beach with palm trees swaying. <laughs> and then when you're ready, coming out. I got distracted with the beach and palm trees. And let's, if you have, let's see, let's do a one-legged pose, like a ballerina pose. And if you have a block or a blanket or a pillow, I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna use a block. I'm gonna place it in front of me. And practice a little bit. This is another balancing pose. Slowly coming forward and taking your right hand. And I'm shooting my right 
leg out. Actually, I'm shooting my left leg out. My left leg out toward the back wall. I'm holding onto my block with both hands, or you can come down and hold the mat with your hands. And let's see if we can stay here for three breaths. Slowly bringing that leg back down to meet your other. Maybe using that block or mat, and let's swing our right leg straight out like a ballerina. And maybe you want to bring your arm up, or maybe you want to keep it to your side. And bringing that right foot back down to meet your other foot. And now let's come, let's go, let's come back to our mat. And work again on some balancing. I'm balancing this morning. We're taking that right leg, we're in tabletop. We're gonna take our right leg and shoot it backwards toward the back wall. And taking our left hand and stretching it forward and seeing if you can make an invisible straight line from the tips of your fingers all the way to the tips of your toes. And hold it here. Let's see if we can hold this for four breaths. Great job, great job. You look fantastic. And bring your hand back down and our leg. Let's go on the opposite side. Shooting, it's my left leg. Whatever leg you're on, shooting it back to the wall and stretching out that right hand. Working on this for four breaths. Remember to keep your core in, your deep breathing, and make an invisible line. See how straight you could feel from the tips of your toes all the way to the ends of your fingers. And slowly bringing that back down again to the mat and back into child's pose. Stretching back out. See if you stretch those arms a little bit further than earlier. Curling those toes under. Let's come back up to downward facing dog. And we're going to take our right leg back and swing it forward towards your hands. Let's come into a low lunge.
knee on the mat. Maybe placing our hands on our knee, on our right knee that's up. Top of the foot down on your mat. Feeling that stretch in your quads. Coming back up, hands to the mat. Curling your toes under, downward facing dog. Swing that left leg up. And coming in between your hands. And another low lunge. Lining up those hips, squaring them off. Chest is proud, shoulders are back. Feeling that breath. Making sure as you breathe that you take every drop of breath in your lungs and inhale and then exhale. And then bringing our hands back to the mat. Swinging that leg back into tabletop and curling our toes under into downward facing dog. With a hop, skip, or jump coming up. Our hands forward fold. Half lift. Forward fold. Swooping those arms up to the sky and sinking down into your chair pose. Making sure those hands, those palms are facing each other, your hips are square, and bringing your hands to heart center. And let's go for a twist. Let's go to the right side, onto your right knee, palms facing in front of you. Your gaze can be to the side wall, or even further up if you'd like. But being mindful to keep your breath going. Pulling in that core and keeping that breath. And coming back to center and switching sides. My right elbow is on my left knee. See if you can sink down just a tiny bit further. And then back to center. Coming back up into mountain pose. Excellent, excellent. And now slowly coming forward into a nice, easy seated position. Crossing our legs, relaxing for a moment. Maybe rocking back and forth, feeling all the work we've done. Let's stretch our legs out in front of us into staff pose. Still keeping our chest proud, our shoulders back, swooping our hands to the sky, and slowly forward fold. And taking your hands wherever they want to go today, ankles, toes, heels, 
Keeping that core tucked in and breathing. Coming up, shaking those legs out a little bit, maybe. And let's bring that right foot into our upper thigh, stretching out your left, squaring your body, and keeping it in line with the foot that is stretched out. And on an inhale, coming over into a forward fold. And up, switching our legs. Bring that foot into your inner thigh. Again, squaring your hips, squaring your body, facing forward. And forward fold. And coming back up, crawling those hands up, coming into butterfly. Soles of your feet facing each other, maybe opening more than like a book. Hands on your knees, chest proud. Hearing your breath. And slowly holding those feet, coming into a forward fold. Seeing how far you can go today with this pose. And then coming up, pulling those knees back into you into a nice hug. And let's maybe work on, I don't know whose favorite this is. If it's your favorite, let me know, that's great. I can honestly say it's not my favorite, but I think it's good for us. Let's do some boats. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you, but yeah. I know. I'm hoping we'll look fantastic by the time everything's over. Okay, stretching out, making sure your chest is proud, shoulders back. Bringing those hands out if you want, or using them as assistance behind your knees. And bring those feet forward into a boat. And let's hold this for three breaths. Pulling that core in nice and tight. And then relax. We're gonna do that one more time. And this time we're gonna hold it for five breaths. So inhale, hands out, legs up in your boat. Maybe you wanna row your boat. Maybe you don't.
can relax. Nice, very nice, ladies, very nice. Thank you. Y'all are amazing. I caught myself cheating on that one, and y'all just rocks. Oh. <laughs> My stomach's like this, so. My stomach muscles are like. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we have. How about come up to your hands on your mat, curling your toes under. And if you need a block or blanket, have it handy if you need it. We're going into Malasana slot. Slowly working those feet down, hoping to get both heels touching the ground. Using the block or anything if you need it to sit. Bringing those hands up to prayer pose. Holding this for a couple more breaths. And slowly using all your leg, just your leg muscles, and slowly push yourself up from that position. Nice, good job. Relaxing, shaking that off. Let's take our feet about mat width apart. And since we're so awesome this morning, let's go into a couple of goddesses. Hands up, body straight, chest proud, slowly sinking into our goddess. Feeling those inner thighs. And then up. Coming down. And up. Very nice. We're taking our hands to our hips. We're going to do a wide legged forward fold. So making sure you keep that pelvis tucked, bottom in. We're gonna slowly go down to our mat and wherever you want to go to today, if you wanna go all the way down with your head or just with your forearms or just holding it with your hands. Maybe taking a stretch and creeping over to the side. Or just staying in your forward fold if you want. And on an inhale, bringing your hands to your hips and slowly, ever so slowly, coming up one vertebrae at a time. Great job. Feet back together, stretching those legs. Coming back down to our mat. And let's 
Let's place our feet out straight. And taking your, your pillow or your block or your blanket and just place it underneath our back where our sacrum is. That really good spot. Sometimes you have to get it just right. Recline back and let's shoot our legs straight up to the sky. Reversing that circulation. And then bringing your legs back down. And you can keep your, your prop underneath your back if you like. And let's come into a bridge pose. Putting those shoulder blades closer together underneath you. Maybe being able to touch your heels with your fingers. And rise up with your bridge. And when you're ready, untuck those shoulder blades, slide that prop out, bring your knees to your chest, let that lower back just really sink into your mat. And just go back and forth a little bit, just rubbing it out. Now straightening your legs out. Maybe flexing those toes back and forth. And bringing that right knee up in wind release pose. And stretching your left leg long onto the mat. And then reversing it. Taking your left knee, pulling it in, hugging it close to your chest. And then release. Now let's take both of our knees up together and slowly drape them to the right side. In a nice twist, holding your arms out straight to your sides, facing each wall like a goalpost. Taking that gaze in the opposite direction, I'm taking mine of my left hand. And maybe if it's comfortable, taking your hand and placing it on your knee to give you just a little bit more.
then on an inhale, bringing those knees, using that core, get those knees centered, and then taking them to your opposite side, draping them over, and then gazing to the opposite side, that's my right side. Again, if you want to take your hand and slowly lay it on the knee, slowly with your core pulling those knees back to center and let's hug them in again maybe placing your feet firmly on the mat and windshield wiping those knees in and out And then coming into happy baby, pulling those knees and legs in, grasping the outer edges of your foot. Maybe swaying back and forth like a baby. And then slowly releasing. Coming into a nice full body stretch. Oh, stretching those feet long, those legs long, arms straight back. And then relax. Coming in to your Shavasana. Maybe you want your hands by your side. Maybe you like them resting on your tummy. Whatever you want, this is your practice. Closing your eyes. And just melting into your mat.
And when you're ready, slowly bringing yourself back to awareness, maybe moving those hands and toes, turning your wrists into circles, and then rolling over to your favorite side. Coming up to a nice, easy seated position. April and Tina, y'all are awesome today. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.